Uh, this is my fourth drawing for Pringles. I did one drawing in Denver, one in San Francisco, one in Huntington Beach, and now here in Arkansas. For each project, we're trying to incorporate a little bit about the city that we're, that we're working in. Today in Arkansas, we're doing more of a, of a Super Bowl themed piece. You know, it's more relating to the time of year rather than the location. I'd been drawing and painting for a long time and I started seeing anamorphic 3D chalk art on the internet and it, it blew my mind and it captivated me right away. And I, uh, I started buying books of uh, some of these established artists and just looking at every picture I could, you know, studying every picture I could to find out the little techniques and the, the things that made them appear 3D. And I became obsessed with it and just devoted all my time to it and uh, it's, it's been my passion ever since. Today I'm working on a, a giant Pringles piece where we've got these two cans who are set up on the football field and they've got their football helmets on, you know, they're sort of the gridiron warriors and people are going to be able to, to come into this scene and pose with these cans right alongside them and sort of immerse themselves in this, in this fantasy football world setting up for Super Bowl weekend. This is tempera paint that I'm using right now and it's good to get a to get a nice base layer especially on pavement like this it doesn't really hold the chalk very well so the tempera gives the chalk something to grab onto and it's also really convenient for filling in a large area like this you know it would take maybe 10 pieces of chalk to fill in this whole thing and much more time so it's a time saver and it, it gives me a nice rich color that I can lay chalk on top of to get the nice gradients and color changes that are needed to make something appear 3D. Well, <laughs> that's a, managing time is a, an imprecise science for me. Uh, I, I usually start the day with an idea of where I would like to be at the end and I just try to work as constantly as possible. Um, I, I really only can work at one speed and make sure that things look right. So the only way to get more done in a day is just to work more hours. So if I know I have a big day coming up, I'll just try to start as early as possible and make sure I have everything ready so I can just get going right away. And then sometimes you just have to work a little later, you know, work under the, under the street lights or with some work lights, um, any way you can just to get in that extra time because rushing doesn't actually accomplish more, for me at least. Um, it, it usually results in more mistakes which take up time and maybe the piece won't look as nice as I want and that's never something that I'm, that I'm happy with. So I just work more hours instead of trying to push myself to work faster. Alright Chris, what's going on here? Uh, well, we got some rain last night, so we're trying to salvage what we can of the art and uh, start doing repairs and getting ready for this afternoon. So, what sort of water damage are we talking about here? Um, <laughs> extensive. Extensive. We got eight rolls of shop towels on the ground and We'll see what we can do when we pull them back up. If there's any chalk left, that would be great. Hey, they're great. I uh, tried the nacho. They tasted great. They're awesome. They've got a great crunch, a great flavor. Give it a 10 on a scale of 1 to 10. <laughs> <laughs>